I am going to go and look at how we can track all this in Power BI. Um, so that, that's going to be the start. And then I'm going to show the Power App visual within Power, Power BI. So something I get really excited about is like the integration between all these different layers and then using Power Automate to actually refresh that Power BI data set. So let's have a start by looking at the report. Uh, so I'm in my workspace here. I've just put it into my workspace and I have a report here called Santa's present tracker and on here uh, we see a timeline of events. So we see when this uh, first started. So can you imagine we've been working on this in September um, so back in September Sharon was naughty. We had myself there as naughty as well. And then you've got a lot of today where you've got quite a few of these different events here. So we can see that in a timeline I make that a little bit bigger as well to see that a bit clearer or not. So I'm expecting to see Well, I've got it. I've got it open here, so I'm just going to show it here instead. I thought that was published, uh, but here you can see all of our naughty and nice people on our timeline. Um, and then we've got our little pie chart. If anyone that doesn't like a pie chart, I love them. I think they're so simple to use. Uh, so you've got our nice people there. We've got the, wow, the geographical distribution here. We've got Australia, we've got Europe, we've got North America. So quickly, we can have a look at who's naughty and nice on our list. Now, the other page here is essentially our elf factories. As a supervisor, we want to be able to come into a, a report and quickly see how are things going. So you can see our inventory very quickly. So we've got our cloth, our diamond, our gold. We've got our metal that Clarissa was using uh, to build Jamie's present there. And we can see everyone's presence that, that have come through here. And I think the elf was a Kara that was a tasked to build Jamie's present there. So he had the uh, matchbox car, so it's been manufactured. So we can see that and Kara was able to build that. If I take off our filter on our elves, we can see all our different elves that we have here. We can see a bit of information about them. So as a manager, as a supervisor, I can quickly see who's working. Um, so you've got Bob there, Cara, Eleanor, Felix, you've got their ages, you've got their height and their favourite colour. And of course, Power BI, anything that I kind of start clicking around will start interacting some of that. So uh, Jamie's present is not requested, but it's in the manufactured um, area there. So I can see that. Now, what I've done here is we've got this little elf icon up here. So if I click that, my Power App will appear. I'm actually going to go back to my web page and see if that's actually loaded now. I think it just didn't refresh. Uh, if I click on my app, my power app appears. So I can now actually go into the, the L production line and I can see what Car is doing, for example. I can see that she's got Jamie's present, which is resourced, manufactured, wrapped and packed. Um, and Clarissa's present is resourced and manufactured. So how do I actually do this? Let's have a look at that uh, back in the desktop. As that's opening, I've essentially pulled in all the extracts from Dataverse. So all the tables have been pulled in and I'm reading all that data to show you all that information. Now, just to show you how that actually works in, in Power BI, we have this uh, built in icon called Power Apps or Power BI. So this is how easy it is to actually just bring in that Power App into my report. So I've brought in this app here and what it will ask me is to kind of put in some data fields. So I know that that app that Clarissa has built has some of these fields in there. So as soon as I do that, it will allow me to either create an application or to choose a, an existing application. So I'm going to go for an existing one and I've chosen the present production line and that's how easy it is to bring my power up into here. So I guess, you know, the reason I wanted to kind of show this is that, you know, a lot of time, this is obviously a Santa kind of made up kind of scenario, but a lot of time working with clients, you do see that having that power up and power BI integration can be really useful, especially when you want to make decisions uh, on the power BI report that then impact data. So I could, you know, see, um, see trends and graphs and I want, might want to create actions, but I don't necessarily want to come out of my power BI report in order to do that. Now, the other thing that's happening here is, of course, we want our Power BI report to uh, completely stay up to date as we go through this process. So what we have is we have a Power Automate in the background that 
actually refreshes that data set as soon as you get to a page in Clarissa's application. Now, this is a very simple flow. And just to show you that, so you've got your first step there, which is just initializing from Power Apps. Um, so this happens when you click a button and then we refresh our data set and it's all UI driven. So I can click the My Workspace and then I can go to Santa's present tracker and then I can save that. And whenever that's run, it's actually going to refresh the Power BI data set in the background. So that's how we can kind of bring everything together. So just to point out kind of a few tips here, when we do use that refreshing Power BI data set in the flow, you need to make sure that you are signed in. And the way you do that is you go to your workspace, you find your data sets, so that's Santa's present tracker. I will then go into my scheduled refresh. And this is the really important thing. You need to make sure that your data source is signed in here and that all of your data sources are either in the cloud or somewhere on the web where you have signed in. So really important to, to kind of see that and log in because when you're testing, you might find that um, you're using this, this flow and it doesn't quite refresh the data set straight away. So that's, that's that Power BI report there. And I want to kind of talk through basically everything we've spoken about because we have, as the three of us, essentially brought in so much of this platform. So just putting that on the screen and kind of talking through a few of these components. Um, so we have CDS, I should have renamed it as Dataverse. I hadn't actually done that yet, but this is the data store for the outputs of the PVA. It's the data store for the outputs of our present and for, for our elves, essentially. We also then take the PVA to CDS. We also use uh, Power Automate to do that. And as well as using Power, Power Automate to do that, we're also using it to refresh our data sets. Um, we have our naughty or nice PVA over here. And of course, we're feeding in information using Power Automate into our CDS. We then have our uh, Power BI report, and that's uh, taking data from CDS. It's also using Power Automate in terms of when you click a button within our Power App within our Power BI. And we also have our two apps here. So we have our model driven uh, production application and we have our Canvas app present production application. So you can see just how much we've been able to use uh, the power of the platform here. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. I know everybody really enjoyed that. The chat is very, very, very complimentary of all of you. This is incredible. So fun to see you do this entire thing and put it all together. And I know you all have been working on this for a long time. Thank you so much. I noticed in Jesse, when you showed your flow that did the refresh for the Power BI, for those folks on the call who've never seen a flow before and were wondering at that first action at the top, it said Power BI, that's just a trigger, basically. That means this flow was invoked by Power Apps. And Jesse pointed out, is it a button? And so that button that she puts into the Power App is actually what kicks that flow off. I just wanted to point that out because I know yeah. we usually have people on the call who haven't seen it before and they might be like, whoa, what that, what's that thing all about? Well done. Very well, fantastic. Actually... And you know, what's really neat about your report there too is the same gentleman who who spoke up and said he made the app that I mentioned after the last demo, he said, I'm blown away how similar the real life usage is. My Power BI dash updated inventory and triggered marketing wow. departments <laughs> to be able to speak to local news and most of the outlets on the items most needed. And so like you may have made a fun little Santa themed thing here, but it's so real life in general and the concepts you're talking about and the tools that you uh, we would use to build a solution like that. Very well done. Mm -hmm.